have you enjoyed the festivities? I think it's been absolutely fantastic. It's been brilliantly organized. And I mean, a triumph. It shows that the Queen has still her inimitable sense of humour. No one will forget that sketch with Paddington Bear. A total surprise. But looking at the initial um, day, tripping the colour, our first battalion Irish guards doing it to perfection, and then, of course, the Queen was on the balcony uh, to receive them at Buckingham Palace, and subsequently we saw the 18 working royals, a very, very good way of handling it, I thought, for there for the fly past, uh, a superb uh, organisation and brilliantly colourful ceremonial, and of course then the beacons, and we saw the Queen light the beacon at Windsor, very sad she couldn't attend the service of Thanksgiving at St Paul's, but it was moving and dignified, and the way the, it was handled with the Cambridges and the Sussexes uh, ensured that despite all the efforts of journalists, uh, this wasn't controversial, at least not then. Yeah, I, I thought that was very interesting too, Richard, but I agree with you. Her Majesty will have been very disappointed that she wasn't able to attend that service because, of course, faith for her is a very important part of her life. It defines her, actually. You're absolutely right, and uh, indeed, her dedication to duty, which of course she inherited uh, from her father, George VI, and her religious faith, these have, and of course her relationship with her strength and state, Prince Philip, these have been, I, I would suggest, her rocks, so to speak, and she would have, if she could have, it's a question of balancing with these mobility problems that she had. I think we're seeing a sort of uh, unspoken transition whereby state events, oh, Prince Charles will deputise audiences, virtual broadcasts and so forth. Uh, the Queen, of course, is continuing to do them and uh, wonderfully well. But it's, it's this balance whereby other members of the royal family uh, do what she could not and indeed, or, or feel she cannot. And of course, Princess Anne at the Derby, at the Epsom Derby, she will have been very sorry to miss that. Uh, hopefully next year she might have a horse running. And last night, uh, an absolute triumph with that concert. Well, I, I thought it was just amazing last night, I have to say. But um, in terms of uh, giving thanks for Her Majesty the Queen, I, I don't think it could have went any better, Richard. I mean, the, all of the different elements, the military, the concert, uh, today, street parties and, of course, the, the big national um, service of Thanksgiving. They've all went according to plan. Uh, I'm sure there'll be plenty of people in the royal household who will need to have a very good rest after this weekend's over. It does show that the royal household can do some absolutely brilliant planning and also we're looking forward to the parade. 10,000 in it uh, and the gold state coach back for the first time since the Golden Jubilee and with some sort of extraordinary um, footage in the windows as though the Queen herself was riding back from her coronation, which was apparently an extremely bumpy ride. Um, Sovereigns have not enjoyed actually being in the coach, but that will be spectacular as we'll be looking back throughout the Queen's reign, the military pageant, uh, and also, of course, the climactic uh, Ed Sheeran will be singing God Save the Queen. And we hope, we're all hoping that the Queen and it is reported uh, Prince Charles, Prince William and Prince George may well be on the balcony, the line of succession stretching uh, uh, there to the future. And the way I think also Prince Charles and Prince William have handled things and are working in tandem very clearly, uh, I think has bodes very well for the monarchy's future. Uh, I thought the tributes to the Queen by the Prince of Wales last night were absolutely delightful. Indeed, Prince William also uh, so uh, passionate about the environment. Wonderful to see Buckingham Palace, as it were, cloaked in foliage uh, in those amazing um, of photo photographic shots. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.